Hello, my name is Mike Rayner, and this demonstration is about using Derek's Boot and Nuke DBAN to erase the hard drive on your computer. DBAN is open source and has been around for several years. When you delete the files on a hard drive, all you are deleting are the file references or addresses, not the data. If you wish to donate your older computer to a charitable organization, DBAN is a better method than simply deleting your files to get rid of your data. The outcomes for this video are download DBAN to your desktop, burn DBAN image to a DVD or CD, enter CMOS or BIOS setup to verify boot sequence so that the DVD or CD boots before the hard drive, and erase your data from your hard disk. Requirements in the internet connection, a CD, DVD writer, and a blank DVD or CD, a desktop computer with image burning software, Demonstration use Ubuntu 12 virtual desktop with Bracera. Old hard drive that you wish to remove the data. Demonstration from an older Windows XP desktop, but it also worked on Ubuntu 12 virtual hard drive. Now there is a warning. This will erase your hard disk. Professional forensic disk tools may be able to get some data back, but I wouldn't count on it. This video is a live demonstration of software provided without any warranty without even implied warranty of merchantability or fitness for a particular purpose. In no event shall software authors or contributors be liable for any damages arising from the use of this software. This, this software is provided as is. That's a DBAN warning. Additional info is Derek's Boot and Nuke, WikiHow, and FreeGeek old computer donations. An organization I prefer to donate older computers is one similar to FreeGeek, though you may not have a free geek in your town. There's an African proverb that says, states, if you give a person a fish, they eat for a day. If you teach them to fish, they can feed themselves for a lifetime. FreeGeek provides the ability to earn a computer by volunteering and also learn about computers by volunteering. Hopefully when you donate your old computer, you can find a similar organization in your area. The next section of this video will be about downloading DBAN. Here I am at Derek's Boot and Nuke page. What we're going to do is download the software here so we can erase the hard drive. Click on Download. Go to the Download page and then we'll simply go to the Source Forge project page. And here we are on the project page. We'll notice the license is GNU General Public License Version 2.0. So we're going to click on download. Of course your advertising comes up and what we're going to do is save the file. Click OK. It downloads fairly quickly. I'm going to come back when it's fully downloaded. Now this is a, a Ubuntu virtual machine that uh, the file has been downloaded but I'm just going to close this. I actually want to shut it off here for a second shut it down so that if, if you're using a virtual machine I'm going to show you what to do on the VirtualBox settings to make sure that you can burn a disk. Shut down. Before you can burn an image to disk in a virtual machine in this case you're going to have to make sure there's some setting sets. In this case I have DBAN Ubuntu PPO1. Go to Storage and I want to make sure that I have the ID secondary master. Well, actually, I want to make sure that I want to have host drive E and pass through is checked. Click OK. And then go ahead and start the virtual machine. In this section of the video, I'm going to burn DBAN or Derek's boot and nuke to a disk. Here I have an Ubuntu desktop open. Here's the CD, blank CD, RW disk insert into the CD DVD drive. If you want to check it also, you can also take a look at it in the home folder. And there it is, is a blank CD DVD. The program I'm going to use to burn DBAN to a disk is Bracero. So go to Dash Home, key in Bracero, select Bracero. When the menu pops up, Click on Burn the Image, Burn Existing CD DVD Image to Disk. 
and we're going to select here and in this case it's in my folder and in the download section that's where I download it wherever you download it that's where it is click on open and select the disk to write in the case I'm using the RW disk because that's all I have it's better to use a CD-R not a rewrite disk because that way it won't the whatever you've written on there won't be overwritten just simply click on burn and it'll go through the process we'll come in and out during this process just to show you what different screens look like this takes about five minutes to uh, complete on my virtual machine now here on my virtual machine I have to eject the disk manually if you're just using Ubuntu on a hard uh, hardware machine it'll probably eject it for you and one thing that I do want to say here is don't forget to remove and mark this disk as Derek's boot and nuke or D-band. This is a very dangerous disk to have laying around, especially if you have kids in your house or if you have it in the classroom. Somebody may pick it up, put it in. The computer may boot with it. If someone follows the uh, menu items, you can wipe out your hard drive very easily. So I'm going to cancel, manually remove the disk. That's it for burning Derek's boot and nuke to a uh, startup disk or a disk that will boot by itself to wipe out your hard drive. In this section, I will be using Derek's boot and nuke to erase all the data, including the operating system, Windows XP, off a Dell computer hard drive. The computer is attached to a TV monitor and the video is being recorded on a digital camera. As you can see, one of my favorite time wasters, Solitaire, is finally going to be nuked. The D-Band CD is already installed on the CD DVD drive. After Windows shuts down, we're going to go into CMOS, sometimes known as BIOS, by keying in F2. Each computer has a different key to key. F2 is a common one. What we're going to do is look at the boot sequence. Up will pop this screen and you'll notice that it says ID CD ROM device will boot before the hard disk. This is what it has to happen otherwise D-Band or Derek's boot and nuke will not work. You can check it and uncheck it. After you make sure that it's checked you can save changes and exit and the next time the computer will boot up it will be in to D-band. So this is your D-band key I'm sorry this is this is your D-band menu I'm not going to start with auto nuke but I'm simply going to hit the enter key to start D-band in, in the interactive mode it starts up you get a lot of things flashing by your screen. At this menu, when this menu comes up, if you want to delete everything on your 55 gigabyte WD or Western Digital Drive, which is actually a 60 gigabyte drive, hit the space bar to select the wipe. D-Band will start working. You'll notice up there at the run time that we're at 8 seconds, 9 seconds. After a while, the remaining time, 1 hour and 45 minutes, will show. It actually took about 2 hours and 19 or 20 minutes to run through the entire hard drive. Three passes. It says round 1 of 1, pass 1 of 3. It's basically writing something to the hard drive. I'm not sure exactly what, but by writing something to the hard drive it's overwriting all the data that you had on your previously on your hard drive now we'll come back when we're uh, when we're done in a little more than two hours here we are at the end of the hard drive disk erasure you notice that we've got less than uh, 20 seconds left and it's taken two hours and 19 minutes so far when you restart your computer you're going to have to manually press the power button because D-Band or Derek's boot and nuke does not have a place for you to restart your computer. So 
So it says it's succeeded and we press a key, any key to continue. And then advertisement comes up. What you're going to have to do to get rid of the advertising is push in on the power button for four or five seconds so it will reboot. Of course you have to take out your uh, CD or DVD D-band software. Once a Dell computer reboots, you'll be presented with a screen that says strike F1 to retry boot if there's no operating system. We can hit F2 to go back to the setup utility. We try to reboot and there's a setup utility. And essentially that's it to erase a hard drive. Unfortunately there was an operating system harmed in the making of this video.